Hey there, Donna with Photonic Health. Today I wanted to chat with you about near infrared versus far infrared and what the differences are. From purely a spectrum, color spectrum difference, near infrared is going to be much closer to visible red. It's still invisible, but it's much closer, which means that it actually has more power to penetrate deeper. Far infrared is further down the line on that spectrum, and it's still invisible, um, but it, it's much further away from the red and the therapeutic therapeutic effects of red. And for that reason, we utilize near infrared in all of our devices when it comes to uh, therapy for animals. Um, so what are some of the drawbacks of far infrared? We get this question a lot. So we do not personally um, engineer far infrared into any of our, our devices because far infrared um, has a thermogenic effect. It means that it uses, it needs more power to penetrate and with more power comes more heat. And heat, and heat can cause burns. Um, it can have reverse effects on it. It can cause inflammation. Um, it can accelerate the detox process, but at that, but so can red and near infrared. And at the far infrared range, um, if there's an animal that's pretty toxic, and you apply far infrared, you could throw them into a healing crisis by um, releasing too many toxins in their body to at such a fast rate that they can't keep up with it um, which is something that a lot of people don't think about you know they think oh it's gonna detox it yay that's great um, sometimes the body can't keep up with all of the toxins that are being dumped and it can't flush it out fast enough um, and then it also has the component of um, far infrared has been shown that it can interfere with a lot of different medications. Um, if there's a blood pressure component involved in it, especially with high blood pressure, it can um, have an adverse effect on that as well. And so there's a lot more caveats to it and it's not, um, as safe for the general end user to just go, hey, here's a light, let's go ahead and let's apply it without the risk of doing any harm. And that's the goal of our company is to design, engineer, and manufacture devices that anybody can use on their animals and that they're not going to create any harm with. And uh, far infrared does not fall into that category and for that reason um, we felt like it needed to just be at its own category and there were just too many risks involved and especially red, red, visible red and near infrared can essentially do the exact same thing and more um, at a quicker timeline.